Hello everyone and welcome to my very first visit to Ireland. It's a place I've always wanted to go to and it's taken me so long to get here. So we are arriving at Tara which is a very interesting site and it just looks like a typical heritage centre. You've got the usual images uh, taken with words behind them which I never am able to relate to and the day is a phenomenal mid-October day. The weather was totally extraordinary. Not a cloud in the sky. There's something about the quality and the energy which is starting to get to me even as I'm just starting to walk up this track. But I feel very much that walking up that track and leaving that track behind, I'm leaving the mundane. And you can see wisps of cloud in this pan which I'm taking just to give you a, an idea of the flavour of the place. There's a church very nearby, there's a wonderful cafe which sells very good quality food and they can accommodate a lot of people. Tara is a really lovely place to go to in that sense. And now I'm starting to get drawn up into the magic of the place itself. It's spiders webs which are attracting my attention here. The population of spiders in one hectare of land up here must be in the millions because the whole of the landscape is covered in the spiders in this way. Uh, spiders webs as being the way I can see that. What we're looking at is a series of earthworks and this is a very significant site for Ireland historically and also today. It's the seat of the former High Kings of Tara. So in the days that people lived a much more tribal lifestyle, then the tribes had their own High Kings and they would come to meet here. And if you want the main mounds, they would come to hold their meetings on. And I'm with my two friends, Paul and David. And that is a location that we've been drawn to have a look at. So Paul, can I persuade you to tell me anything about what we're seeing and being part of here? There's a sign there, it's called the Mound of the Hostages. People call it call them burial tombs or, or portal tombs. Yes. Would be more accurate. Yes. Um, love to spend a night in there. Yes. There's some, de there's some uh, spiral designs etched into the rock. So here we are moving in closer and we notice that this site has one thing in common with a lot of others which of course it's been padlocked. There you go, what a shame, but never mind. And inside wow. we have some extraordinary carvings, particularly visible here on the left hand side. There are spirals and spirals are found carved all over the world. Every single <coughs> ancient place in the world you'll find carvings of spirals. It's a universal symbol. We're saying more about this in another film in the future. Something very special about the energy inside this ancient place. Something about the landscape, the quality of it. It's just so gentle and lovely here very very warm for October and very misty and it has a sunset feel even though it's in the morning surprisingly yes yeah, so what you sorry what you're saying Paul yes yeah, so this type of tree is, is known as a fairy tree and you'll find them all over Ireland, north and south, all over the world. And uh, people will bring offerings to them and prayers and intentions and yes. leave photographs and you know what they'd like to happen and all that kind of stuff. And yes. I, I, I don't know any man who's ever cut one of those down. No. I've heard of several that, that, have, that, that have and bad things tend to happen to them, you know. Yes. Uh, there's a, You'll find them in the middle of golf courses, like they'll build a golf course around it. Okay. Uh, states they'll build, they'll build around it, and, and generally yeah. they won't, they won't touch it, you know, because the, the fairies, 
Don't be happy about that sort of thing. Too right. Yeah, I'm going to go check that out. So over there you can see the Standing Stones, which includes the Stone of Destiny. Over there you can see the tower in the distance. Celtic cross over there with a crow on it. Crow energy is very significant here. I really get the feeling that the crow is the guardians of this location. I'm going to go visit the fairy tree next. I've been drawn to visit this fairy tree. And tradition is no one ever cuts them down. And indeed there is a curse on those that make the attempt to do so which I'm being told is enacted very rapidly. So they have very well protected these trees. What I feel in this locality more than anything else is a profound sense of softness in the energy here. Very soft energy. This is a tree which is dressed. You'll be able to see that there are indeed dressings hanging from the tree. The other thing you'll notice is that it's ripe with berries. As I get closer I can see of course there are two trees. There's Paul and David on the mound. So I guess what I can already notice as we go up towards this stone. So what did you what did you call this stone again, David? Leafal. Leafal. Stone of Destiny. Stone of Destiny. That's it. It looks like someone has chosen to be buried here as well. Can you understand any of that language? Bit of it. Is that the Gaelic or is that something else again? No, it's Gaelic. It's old, like, that, real old Gaelic. That's old Gaelic because they have proper lettering. That means down now of <laughs> the no uh, son the heron people of Ireland. This stone is just phenomenal. Yeah, that's because someone painted it green. Right. <laughs> the job the last year. <laughs> <laughs> but it's got the red on it as well. It's like it? the post boxes. Oh yeah, the, yeah. Post, painting of the post box is green. Yes. <laughs> Leah fail. There you can see the spider's web. So much of the grass is completely covered in this misty, downy, mostly horizontal layer of spiders' webs. The land is full of spiders. As far as the eye can see, there are these spiders' webs over the grass.
And for those who tune in such things, what's really noticeable about the sky here is there's not a single chemtrail in any direction at all. And there's one of our little friends. Paul and David are now taking me over to this grove of trees. And the energy here is just extraordinary. A sense of peacefulness, a sense of being undisturbed, unmolested, left alone, given it sacred space. That's the feeling I get from these trees very strongly. It truly represents the beauty of the tree energy because the tree has needed to take this shape in order to adapt to the elements and circumstances. That's amazing. Without doubt, this is the most beautiful form of spider architecture I've ever seen. Most webs, as you know, are two-dimensional flat, but this one is a completely three-dimensional structure that's being created by the spider's concerns. And in this woods people obviously camp, you can see a shelter that's been constructed some time ago and a wonderful place to camp this must be. So this is the Holy Well of Tara. We are in the process of harvesting all the water we require for the preparation of the medicine for the island's retreat.
Wow, serious amount of uh, containerage. Oh, look at that. And is that crystal still there? I have it here, right here. Keep you got it right there. Yeah. It's been the most well loved spring I've been to for a very long time. I can really sense it. Stop. That's Janet's. That's Janet's crystal. So I've just filled my glass. Time for the first sip. There's always a test is how much do I drink and I've had half a pint in one gulp so the body's very happy with it. Now on our way back to Dublin, Paul and David had this strong sensation to call over and visit another holy well and this one has been very much neglected. You can see it's in a suburban area with lots of traffic and we were quite shocked at the condition inside and in fact David and Paul did say they were going to come back and give it a really good clean because it is not being respected as it stands at the moment and yet the water is probably perfectly good if it's given a good clean out. Does this one have a name? Oh Holy Mary it says on it. Mulhuddard Holy Well. Mulholland Holy Well. Mulhuddard. Mulhuddard Holy Well. And now for the highlight of the whole trip from my point of view, which is the Nature's Medicine Retreat we're hosting in wonderful Inch Hideaway in County Cork. When I first arrived, it was early evening time, and what particularly struck my attention was the quality of the light. It was utterly extraordinary so special so soft with a kind of a peach pink rosy hue to it and when i spoke to paul about it, he says well of course this is a place very much populated by the fairies and this is something you quickly learn in ireland fairies are respected life forms no question about it not to be joked about thank you <laughs> Just getting busy in the kitchen and making pizza on our retreat. Just people sat outside having a conversation about their experiences. Move the spots now. Oh, yeah. It's a pizza oven as well. <laughs> That's what Colleen does, she, she makes them. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just come and do a little video of your film. Here's the dough bars waiting to go in, and we're about to have pizza. Pizza for a proper pizza oven, there's one baking away. <laughs> It's a little mm. deceiving. <laughs> Let's look at the ingredients. <laughs> oh, <let's see. laughs> and that's artichokes. We're going to have mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Bucket of rustic apples there. Yes. Do you know I spoke about these two men in England who built four play houses? Remember I mentioned that? Yes, yes. One of them touched to be this morning. So, yes, I thought that was funny because I was thinking about him. He's thinking about me. That's good. 
<laughs> well, now things are in motion. You reach them. Yes. Uh, it's already... Yes. Yes. That's it. Now the magic starts. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it though. Oh, it's cheesy man. Just Look at it. it. Really? <laughs> the rain's coming down. But we've been um, quite lucky so far. We've had some good weather. <laughs> And I've been staying with David in Dublin and this is where he lives and again I noticed this is my last evening there I was on the ferry within an hour or so of shooting this but the quality of the light it's so extraordinary there so special and it's not like any light quality I've experienced anywhere else that I've ever traveled it's a softness pink hues delicacy gentleness it's with regret that I say goodbye to Ireland and thank you very much Ireland, Paul, David, Colin and Inch Hideaway, thank you all.